All right. Uh, well, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> so I haven't recorded in a while, you know, just uh, busy with real life stuff. But, uh, you know, I got some time today, so I'm going to try something new. As you can see, this is Sophie's Safe Cracking Simulator. It just came out maybe like yesterday, I think, or a couple days ago. I don't remember because I've been playing this. And uh, it's it's something really different. It's uh, very unique. So uh, and it's cheap too. It's only like what two two dollars or two forty nine. I think it's on sale uh, since it launched. But uh, yeah, as you can see from the title, it is a safe cracking simulator. Uh, I kind of have a I have a little interest in in uh, in lock picking. Uh, I'll be honest, and um, I'm not that good, but. You know, I've made my own picks before. There's really small ones like, you know, from, uh, what do you call them? Bobby pins? Yeah, a couple of pliers, you know, and yeah, you take a couple of files and, you know, shape them correctly. But anyways, you know, those are only like, they're not professional level. So, but I do have an interest in this kind of stuff. So yeah, this, uh, this really, uh, is up my alley. It's a simulator and it's also dealing with, uh, at least, you know, picking or, cracking a safe so let's actually get into it uh let me just check, uh, let me just check my settings for a bit everything is good yes it's this is not a graphically intensive game so you can probably run it on high audio is good i don't have a gamepad connected but there is a rumble feature and i got some controls here just making sure everything is set all right we'll go back and let's go Check out the tutorial. Like I said, I've been playing this game for a bit, maybe two or three hours, but um, it is a really, really cool thing. So basically, it simulates uh, the inner workings of a safe, or the, the the locking mechanism of a safe, as you can see here. You've got your dial, which is uh, makes noise. Uh, they'll they'll come in handy later, but. Uh, yeah, so it uh, the tutorial tells you all the uh, relevant parts, like the dial, obviously. Then you've got the um, the lever with its little nose here, and the the cam, which is part of the uh, locking mechanism. As you can see, I have unlocked the lock. You can lock it back up again. But this is just a basic uh, basic representation. Now we're going to get into the more uh, well, not not quite advanced, but this is just another one of those basic representations of a simple safe lock. As you can see here, you've got all the par parts that you need, and there's an added part called the wheel. And on the wheel is a gate. This is where this, this thing right here is added also. This is the fence, and uh, you need this fence to open the uh, lock here. So let's... Uh, we just, uh, let's see. I, I I should use the keyboard for this, because mouse control is cool and all, but it's a lot more smoother with the keyboard. So we can rotate the dial to uh, turn the wheel. And let's line the gate up with a fence, this thing. There you go. And now we need to, uh, what's that called? Uh, I forgot what the process is, but you have to go to 0 to 10 to drop the lever. And then you can unlock it. But yeah, there's some stuff here that you can read if you want. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time because I got to show you the rest of the game. Oh, uh, well, not game. It's a simulator. So <laughs> I mean, you can make it into a game if you want by uh, cracking safes. There's a time aspect to it, but uh, we'll get to that. All right, so, uh, yep. Uh, it's just telling you, this tutorial right here is telling you about the, um, why the wheel moves when you move the dial. Turns out there's a pin here, and inside, uh, that pin is set inside this space here called the fly, right? And, uh, yeah, it's very, it's, it's, it's actually, well, I don't, I'm not too familiar with this, the inner workings of a safe, but it seems pretty accurate so far. It kind of simulates that aspect, so that's pretty cool. Now, this is what you would normally see uh, in a, I guess, not, uh, let's say, a basic safe, <laughs> something that you would find in a near in in a wall safe or something like that. Nothing too complex, but it's still pretty complex enough. You've got 
two more wheels here. And I think this tutorial tells you, uh, yeah, how to position multiple wheels. And it's just telling you that uh, the, the pins and the flies work together to rotate everything. And there is a certain pattern. So basically, if you uh, turn left all the way or turn right all the way, you rotate all the discs. But if you start over, again, I'm not really too good at explaining this, but if you start over, you start from the back, then the, the pin there uh, picks up this wheel, starts moving this wheel, and then it starts moving, the pin in here starts moving this wheel. So that will, that will factor into the whole safe cracking aspect soon. So let's just, uh, let's just visually uh, take a look at this. Oop, let me zoom out here. Here, there we go. That's gonna, that's a good spot right there. So we want to, we want to line up the gates here, these, uh, these notches so that the fence can go down. And then we'll just line this up. Then we will rotate again. And then it will start at the back here. And we want to line up the second gate. So let's just get that locked into place. Let's get that engaged. Stick that there. And let's get the third one. We're all oh, so close. There we go. Let's just ease that in. And then we can unlock the lock. <clears throat> All right, basic stuff so far. Uh, now we get to enter a combination. Uh, for you, for those of you out there who've never really used a uh, dial, a combination lock, this is going to be uh, pretty new to you. Uh, I I remember when I was uh when I was uh in high school, they finally gave us uh, lockers and they gave us combination locks. And uh, for a long time, I never used my locker because I was really bad at uh, using this stuff. But after a while, I started using it because those books are heavy. Anyways, uh, you get your combination here. So this is just this tutorial is probably is is teaching you how to uh, actually enter a combination, uh, how things work. Like I said, explained earlier. But uh, so yeah, I mean, if you want to read this, you can. That should be uh, visible to you guys. I don't have time to read it, so let's just enter this combination right here. Left 45, so let's uh, even out the dials here. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking over this, but the, the game kind of focuses on this aspect of sound, and I know it's not really helpful for me talking over this stuff, but hopefully you can hear it. Uh, hopefully my audio level is correct, because... But this game, you need sound. So if I stop talking for a while while I'm trying to <clears throat> crack a safe, then you know I'm trying to listen for the, um, the audio cues, right? So as you can hear, there, I've engaged all of the wheels, uh, one, two, and three. They're all rotating in the specific direction, left. So now we should enter our... Uh, we should dial in our first number here. So left 45, left 45. Okay, now I'm going to rotate right and you can hear the dials working. I want two clicks, all right? I want two, uh, not clicks, but uh, two um, noises. Because there's, there's, well, I don't know how I'm going to explain this, but you'll just, you'll understand soon enough what I mean. So I'm going to rotate this to the right, and then you'll hear two sounds, or two sounds, well, I guess four sounds, well, no, whatever, you'll hear something. So, just a right 58, so, that's one. That's two. Okay, now I can, uh, since I'm, uh, the second wheel is engaged. I can go to 58 here, 55, 6, 78, close enough. All right, so now I want to engage the third wheel in the back. So left 89, so I'm going to have to go left. Okay. I engaged the third wheel, so now we just need to go to 89. All right, so now we have to go to 0 to 10 to unlock it so to speak. I, I don't exactly know what the term is for that, but we're just going to go back 
and you'll hear some noise here, the little, little clicks. That's the fence going down into the gates. You'll hear it. Okay, that means it's unlocked. Now we can push left and... Or... Oh, no, I messed up. I'm supposed to go right. Or, yeah, whatever, hold on. Hold on, sorry about that. Let me just reset. Okay. Left 45, close enough. Right 58. 5, 6, 7, 58. Close enough. 5, 6, 7, yeah. All right, so... Left 89. Close enough. Unlocked. There we go. Now, the door didn't open since this is a tutorial. And, uh, yeah, I hope you read this because I'm just going to scroll past this. It's basically how to enter a combination. And uh, there's a new little aspect here called the X-ray view. And now we can see how the uh, lock works from the inside. And, uh, yeah, I, I've opened the lock using the combination. All right, moving on. Okay, so this is a summary. I'm just going to leave it like that. You can read this. Uh, the cam will latch onto his nose, blah, blah, blah. Wheels block the lever. We saw that. Pins and flies. Dials. And, uh, yeah. All right. Now we're getting to the we're getting to the hard part of the game here. How to figure out a combination when the game doesn't tell you what the combination is unless you ask for it. Now you got to figure out how to open this safe. And uh, basically, this one is just an intro telling you um, about the wheels. So I, I guess we can spoil it. So the wheels here, as you can see, uh, they're not all the same size. One is bigger. One is uh, medium sized, I guess, and one is the smallest size you can get for this type of lock. So it's telling you that uh, those uh, those wheels, the size matters. All right, it'll matter when you're trying to pick the safe, or uh, crack the safe. Sorry, pick the safe. So since one of them is um, one of the wheels is bigger, we can use that to to our advantage. Right, this is what this is telling you. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about contact points now. Yeah, contact area. So, all right, I think we can, we can spoil this because this is a tutorial. But basically, whenever you, uh, whenever you drop the, whenever this thing goes to the 0 to 10, the fence will drop. And uh, if you are in an area, say, like this, this is the biggest wheel right here, the, the first one. When you're in this area and you go to 0 to 10, the fence will drop, but it won't drop all the way because this is blocked, right? But safe crackers in real life, they can feel this stuff, right? It, it, well, you can't feel it in the game unless you have like a haptic keyboard, which doesn't quite exist yet. I don't know, maybe. So what the game does is basically you can uh, press uh, control in this case, left control, to do a, um, what is that called? Gentle turning, right? I'm sorry, I, sk I skipped through this, but if you want to read it, you can read it right now. I'm just going to scroll this up. You can pause and read if you want. But it's basically telling you how to use this mechanic where you can slow down your rotation, but also at the same time feel... Oh, as you can see, oh, here, hold on. Let me do this again. We're, we're a little zoomed in. So it stops at the zero because I'm using the gentle turning uh, mechanic here. Automatically stops at zero. And then since this fence is down right here and uh, in this area, it sort of like tells you that, oops, sorry. It stops right here, telling you that you have essentially hit the fence down. Uh, you've turned the wheel enough so that the gate is positioned correctly. It's like, you know, if you ever play that game Mastermind, right? Where you kind of guess the, um, 
the colors or whatever. And uh, it's sort of like it tells you whether you're right, wrong, or you're close. This is telling you you're close. So the fence is down, and it's like, uh, you've got one number correct. I don't even remember what number this was, but uh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, you, you've got it. You've got the wheel locked in. So basically, let me just rotate this dial here. And um, this is this is how you crack a safe. In real life, I think they use um, feel, right? Like I said. But uh, yeah, so you can't feel the resistance. But you use the gentle turning to sort of like get that 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 hint, right? So uh, yeah, uh, this is just telling you a little bit more about the details, about how like it'll stop, right? And uh, let's see, what else does this say? Okay, you can read that if you want. All right, so I mean, uh, yeah, it's basically like the way to do it, uh, from what I understand, is to actually just trial and error, right? So you want to get the biggest, the, you want to find the uh, gate for the biggest wheel first, and that'll be easier, right? So you just go like, let's say, uh, let's go five, right? And then you just use the uh, thing here. Not quite. It didn't, uh, it's not five. So on and so forth. You go to 10, you do the same thing. Hold on. I reset this. You go to 10. Do the same thing. It stops. Not quite. Then you go to 15. Reset it, and then, whoop, zero, and, and you get it, so on and so forth, 15, 20, 25, 30, whatever. I'm just going to cheat a little bit, so let's say we get up to 40, right? We're going to try 40, you don't see it, but we're going to try 40. So we're just going to reset it, it's on 40, let's go back to 10, and then, as you can see here, we've got a match. So at this point, you'd be like, one of these is 40. One of the wheels there is 40. Is it the first wheel? Is it the second wheel? Is it the third wheel? Obviously, we know it's the first wheel because we can see it. And uh, that's what you got to do. So now you got to, so you now you know that one of the wheels is 40 or one of the, one of the, the uh, combination numbers is 40. Now you got to figure out the two other ones. And that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, uh, with an actual, with the, um, uh, with, that's not an actual lock, but you know, with a, with a, with a, instead of a tutorial lock, I'll try it on a, uh, you know, uh, one of the other locks in the game, but, uh, that's the basic gist of it. Now you got to find out the rest of these and uh, it takes a quite a bit of time. Also, this is telling you about, uh, the other tools that you have at your disposal, which I honestly don't know how to use because uh i've just been doing it you know by um either hearing or just well you know using the gentle touch uh, gentle turning uh control but there's a spectrograph which uh reads the audio as you can see the uh noise is outputting onto the screen there and then there is a gyroscope which uh, gives you an accurate reading of your your dial. So basically, they just stick this on, and it'll it'll tell you the specific, like down to like point zero zero zero. You know, I don't know what the uh, the measurement is, but uh, it's very accurate. Although I haven't really used it that much. And then of course there is a uh, digital camera magnified, so you can really get. Uh, you know, like, let's say, you want, well, I, I, I haven't used these because I think they're maybe tools that are designed for some of the harder, uh, safes that you have to crack in this game that you set up because some of them are very, very, very tough, but, uh, yeah. So those are your tools.
And uh, this one, uh, this tutorial is just telling you how to uh, find the number, which we already found. Well, sort of, I guess. It was 40. 40? It was 40, right? But uh, you can read that if you want to. It's, it's, very, it's very informative. This is a very... Well, this is a simulator, so it should be. But it's, it's very good at that, uh, that, uh, that kind of learning aspect. All right, so you can read that if you want. And uh, basically, this one is ter uh, telling you how to count the wheels, which I, I try to explain. Hopefully, you guys understood that, but it's very, very kind of complex when you first get into it. But it gets really easy later on when you get used to it. So you can read that if you want. I kind of scrolled through that pretty fast, right? But if you want, you can read that. And then, like I said, trial and error, you just gotta, you just gotta do it. So we'll get into that in a minute once we get through this tutorial. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this later on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of hard for the first time. And then the final tutorial is basically just good luck, you know, just, yeah, it's giving you a little bit of advice, a little bit of hints. But, uh, you know, once you get used to the idea of it, then it's, you know, then you'll get it. So, anyways, that was the tutorial. Now we can get into the actual um, meat of the game. Basically, you can customize your uh, safe uh, lock mechanism thing. And uh, let's see. All right, so you get minimum wheels, so you can either have no wheels... Or, however many wheels that are in the max wheels category. So let's just, uh, yeah, we'll just stick to three for right now. For max wheels, you can go up to about 20, I think. 20? 20. So you can have 20 of these things, and it's going to be really, really hard. Okay? <laughs> so I recommend just sticking to three if you're a beginner at this. I've done about four five maybe but that takes a, a a while and this video i think is let me just check 22 minutes in okay good so we're just going to do three three wheels uh minimum scale range scale range what was scale range i'm trying to remember what scale range was um i think this determines the size of the wheels so at what point at one sorry at one uh, the wheels are drastically different. So you got one big, or three wheels here, you got one big, one not so big, and one very small. But you can make them all the same size if you just go to point one or anywhere in between. Now, scale ascension is um, what order the wheels are in. So you can, if it's random, you can have a big wheel here, uh, a small wheel here, and a you know, medium sized wheel here, but you can make it ascending, which, uh, I think, uh, is big in the back, small in the front or descending big in the front, small in the back. So it's big, medium, small, whatever. So we'll just do r random tolerance. Uh, what I, what I was telling you about the uh, tools earlier, the, um, digital camera and all this stuff. I think this, those are, those are really good for this. Because tolerance is how wide, how big the gates are, all right? So you can have a wide gate. You can have a medium gate, which is not too big. Or, no, 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 sorry. Um, no, no, it's not the gate. It's the fence. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It's the fence, all right? So you can have a wide fence, which is um, pretty hard, actually. Medium is a medium-sized one, and then we'll have narrow, which... Uh, or was it the, no, this is just the gate, but, uh, well, we'll see. Hold on. Uh, yeah, so whatever. This will adjust the gate. You can see, you'll see it later on when you, when you look at, well, actually, we'll, we'll go into, let's just choose wide right now. And let me just see here. Zoom. And uh, yeah, so that is, okay. So wide is, yeah. So wide is basically, um, you've got the, yes. Uh, You've got the small um, fence here. And the narrow 
Yeah, you can see that's a big fence right there. You got to be more precise with your uh, with your gate placement. That looks just about right, right? Yeah. So that's what that is. All right. And uh, this one, I do not quite understand. I, I I think the developer has stated that they will add a tutorial for this. Uh, the wheel flies are uh, movable, I guess. And I don't quite understand what that means. Uh, so uh, the, maybe next time if I ever play this game again and record it, I might change that. But for now, we're going to do fixed. So let's go wide. Uh, three wheels minimum, three wheels max. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's allow this stuff. Um, but we don't need it. So I'm going to try to, I'm trying, I'm going to try to crack this safe here. We're going to do another random safe. And oh, yeah, you can uh, put a message in the safe. So good job. You win. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 wait, that's, that's grammatically correct. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you ever played, uh, you ever played uh, Big Rigs off the road racing? You know what that, uh, you know what that is. You're a winner. <laughs> all right, so that's the message we're going to put inside the safe. And all right, so the rest of this video, I'm going to try to crack this safe. Hopefully I can do it within 20 minutes. I think that that's my record without using any hints or the combo. Uh, but it's going to be hard because I'm not going to be concentrating as much since I'm talking. But if I do shut up, that means I'm trying to listen. Okay. So let's crack this safe. You, you, as you can see, we can't see inside it unless we do the x-ray right here, which we won't do because I'm not going to cheat. Uh, let's see. Okay. Usually, um... And I, I wish, like, hopefully in the future we'll get a random random safe button. But usually we try to figure out how many wheels there are, okay? So, let's just spin the dial a couple of times. And we'll figure out how many wheels there are. Obviously, I know there are three wheels in this thing because I selected three wheels. But let's just see how many wheels there are. Or let's hear how many wheels there are in the safe. One, two, three. All right, so all the wheels are spinning left, so all wheels left, AWL. That's the acronym they use. So now we got to figure out which one of these wheels is the big wheel. And to do that, we just have to guess. <laughs> Again, trial and error. So let's go with five here. It's not five. Okay. We're at 10 now, so let's try 10. It's not 10. Let's go 15. It's not 15. Okay. So let's go to 20. Let's reset. Make sure it's uh make sure all the wheels are spinning. <clears throat> let's go to 20. It's not 20, 25. Oh, that's weird. I think we got two of the discs or two of the wheels are in place. Huh, 25. That's gonna be interesting. Usually we would have the, uh, we would have the the uh, whatchamacallit gentle turn if we get one of the discs usually it would it would end up here somewhere but it's ending it's ending up in the middle so that means we've got two discs that are 25. now the problem is which of those discs are 25 so is the first disc 25 is the middle disc 25 and the last uh sorry last wheel a random number we don't know we're gonna have to figure it out so so this is pretty lucky, I guess, if you want to consider this luck, but let's go 25. So the first wheel will be 25. The second wheel will be zero or random. 
unknown. And the third wheel would be 25. So let's say, okay, first wheel's 25. And we want to do a random number for the second wheel. So we're going to need two clicks here going to the right. One. Two. Okay, so let's do a random number. Let's do 30. 30 is good. Or 29, whatever. So now we need to uh, go to the third wheel. So we're going to have to go left. One click. Okay, now we just need to go to 25 here. Oh. Okay, maybe not that random. We'll do that, we'll do that again. <clears throat> 25. 26, whatever, it's fine. 25. And then random, let's go with 10. Now we gotta go 25 the other way. 25. So I'm be uh, uh, so at this point I'm thinking wheel one and wheel three are 25. Well, let's go check it out. No. Okay. So that's wrong. All right. So wheel one and wheel three are not 25. It might be wheel two and wheel three. Hmm. All right. Let's do a random one. Let's go 40 for the first one or whatever that number is. It doesn't really matter. One. Two. Where's 25 here? 25. 25. And then the wheel three, we got to go left. Okay, 25. Well, there we go. Uh, let's go back to zero here. Oh. That is strange. It could be the first and second wheel, but you know what? Let's uh, let's go back and do this again. Maybe I made a mistake. So 25. Go back to zero. Huh. Is it 25, 25 blank? Huh. We can try that. So 25. Twenty-five. Sorry, that was my email. And then that's our forty. And then let's check it out. See if this works. Yeah. See, that's wrong. Hold on, just a second. I just want to change something. Huh. I don't actually know. Maybe this is the wrong option. I think it's movable. I think actually, yeah, that might be that might be the problem right there. So again, there, there's no real information on this, so we'll we'll just do a new lock here. Obviously, three wheels since it's you know maximum three, minimum three. Well, let's start over again. Go five. No. Okay, so it's not five, it's ten. No, it's not ten. Fifteen. It's not fifteen. Twenty. Oh, I messed up. Hold on. It's not 20. Let's try 25 again. It's not 25. Go 30. It's not 30. 35.
not 35. I don't have to go all the way to the zero, but I just feel, you know, I feel better if I do. <laughs> so it's not 35. Let's go with 40. Let's reset here. Because you can just do this. No, it's not 40. Okay, we're going to go 55. Oh, sorry, 45. Sorry, 45. It's not 45. Let's go to 50. Reset. It's not 50. 55. Let's reset. 55. Not 55. Let's go to 60 here. Uh, let me just reset there. 60. 60. Nope, it's not 60. Not about 65. Reset. It's not 65. Okay, what about 70? Did I say 65 or 60? Whatever, let's move on to 70. Seventy. Ooh, we got a hit. Seventy. Now, what I usually do, this is my strategy. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I want to see the set. I want to get the center of the gate. So seventy is where we got hit, right? So let's try. Uh, let me try sixty-five again. I think I might have messed up that. So sixty-five. Let's reset. Let me just get this all the way back here. So it's not 65. All right, let's try in between 65 and 70. Let's do 68. Right here, 68. It's not 68. 69? <laughs> nice. <laughs> 69. Nice. All right, let's try uh, 69. Okay, it starts at 69, so what I've uh, found so far is that the the space of the gate, especially in this game, is about, uh, I think, seven, seven of these uh, marks, so 69, so in the middle, middle of seven, so seven divided by two, that's like three, right? No, 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 four, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, right. So right about here. So 72, right? That's the middle of the, the, the gate, at least. So one of these wheels is 72. Now we need to uh, eliminate the possible... Uh, the possible choices, right? So it could be blank, blank, 72. It could be blank, 72, blank. It could be 72, blank, blank. So one of these wheels is 72. So to do that, we just got to test it out. So let's just say, let's test out the first wheel, if it's 72 or not. So we just need to go 72. Wheel three. Wheel two, and then we'll do a random number thirty. All right, and then we got we need to do a random number for the last one, the third wheel. So wheel three, and we'll just do fifty-five. Easy. So now let's check out the uh, check out the uh, thing here. Okay. It might be wheel one. 72 might be wheel one. So the first digit in our combo might be just 72. But we can still, uh, we need to test the other one. So let's uh, choose a random number for the first uh, combination here. Actually, before I do anything, let me uh, get out my notepad here. So I don't forget the numbers. 72. 
right? So, all right. So it might be 72 might be the first wheel, but let's just try this out. So the first number should be random. Let's go 30 here. All right. Now we need to get to 72. So wheel three. Wheel two, okay, so 72, wheel two, there we go, 72, close enough. All right, 72, and then the last number is a random number, so let's say, um, okay, we engaged wheel three, so let's just say 90. So blank, uh, random number, uh, 72, and then random number or blank. So let's check it out. No. Okay. As you can see, it didn't stop there. It didn't stop here. Right? So 72 is not the middle wheel. Now we just need to, um, we just need to do the third wheel and see if that works. So basically random number, right? So let's go 50, whatever. One, uh, three, two, and then we'll just do, uh, 15. Okay, that's the that's the third wheel engaging. So let's just get to 72 over here, 72. And then let's test out the third wheel. Okay, so 72 I think is the first wheel. So our first combination number is 72. Okay. Ooh, like I said, it gets it gets kind of uh well, I don't know. It's it's might be tedious for some people, but for me, this is this is great stuff right here. I love this stuff. So first number is seventy-two. All right, so seventy-two, and then the second number, we just process of elimination, go through each one of these numbers to see which one. Hold on, uh, I messed up. Well, I was my, I was thinking too much. All right, so seventy-two. Wheel three. Wheel two, and let's go to five, and we'll check that out. Okay, so nope, it's still 72. It's it's not, when you get the second number right, or a second number right, any second number, you'll, you'll land in the middle here. That's what I had the problem in the first one, because I had two numbers that were 25, and that's just, you know... Uh, maybe it was just because of the movable uh, flies, but since this is not the right number, since five is not the right number for the second wheel, it lands on this. That means it lands on this. So that means it's not the right number. So we have to do that over again. So 72, let's just reset everything here. Wheel three is engaged. Wheel two is engaged. So now let's go to 10. And nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so let's go to 72 again. Let's make sure all the wheels are okay. Okay, 72. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to 15. 15, uh, wait, 72, 15, and then we'll, oh, you know what? I'm thinking too much. I need to focus. Sorry. 72. Oh, nope. I went too far. And I probably didn't reset it. So let's reset it properly. 72. Well, three. Wheel two, and we are at 15, right? 15. All right. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah. Okay. Nope. I didn't get it. So try that again. 72. 
Okay. All right, so we're going to do 20 now, so 20. Nope, okay, it's not 20. So again, 72. Three. Two, and let's go to 25. 25. Nope. Hopefully I'm doing this right because uh, this would be a really bad thing if I wasted your time here, but 72. Let's go 30. Okay. It's not 30. Move this further. Okay, 72. Wait, what's going on here? Why didn't that do anything? Okay. 72. Okay. Okay, we're going 35 now. I think 30 what I did last time, so 35. Let's check this out. No. Okay, moving on. Okay, 35. Let's try 40. So 72. Forty. Move up. Nope, not quite. Seventy-two and forty-five, right? Okay, forty-five. Not forty-five. Okay, we got a couple more numbers to go here. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Fifty. Nope, not quite. Try that again. Seventy-two. Okay, let's see. 55? Did I say 50 last time? I think it, 55. Okay, nope. So 72 again, reset. Sixty. Go to sixty. Nope. Okay, not sixty. We'll do that again. Sixty-five. We're getting we're getting close here. So let's just no. Okay. All right. Either I did something wrong or I'm not there yet. So 72. Sixty-five. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, we're getting there. Let's try 70. Okay. Okay, we've run into a um, little issue here. Not, nothing too major, but we've run into an issue. Now, 
as you can see, 72, let's go to 72 here. As you can see, when we get to the second wheel, wait, hold on. Oh man. I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to say here. One, uh, so three. Two. Okay. This is where the, the, the wheel starts to move. We can't go any further with 80, 90. So what we need to do is we need to go all the way around. This is from what I've done before. So let's try 95. Oh, I messed it up. Damn. All right. All right. So we're going 95. Okay. So 72 right here. 72, wheel 3, wheel 2, we go 95. Now since we passed where the uh, cam engages, we don't need to go all the way around to, to check. So we're at 95, oops, oh, I messed it up because of my talking. Let me try that again one more time. 72, wheel 3. Wheel two, ninety-five. Oh, I think I messed it up. Hold on. Oh, my reset was not good. Hold on, let me reset this thing. There we go. Three clicks. Okay, seventy-two. Wheel three. Wheel two. We're going to ninety-five. 95, and then we're going to check by going to zero over here. Okay, it's not 95. Okay, so do this again. 72. Wheel three. Wheel two, and we're going to go to 90. 90, okay. Now I need to go to zero. It's not 90. It's probably 80, 85, so we'll see. Hold on. 72. Oops, I went over 85, but we're going to say 85, okay? Not 85. It might be 80. It might be 80. Eighty. Okay, let's stick at eighty. It's not eighty. Hmm. Okay, we are in a tr we are in trouble here. Seventy-two. We're rotating wheel three. Engaging wheel two. Oh, huh. sixty five. No, that's not. See, I'm making a fool of myself now. I thought I got this down, but I guess I didn't. So, seventy two. Let's try it one more time. Let's try 55. No. How long have I been doing this? 20 minutes. Okay, I've already uh, ran past my, uh, my best. <laughs> it's not really a good best, but whatever. It's the first time doing this stuff. Okay, 72. 72. That's the third wheel. That's the second wheel. Let's try 35. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Well, let me just check the time here. All right. Um. You know what? This was a. This was a. You know. Uh, I think I've I've gone over my time limit here. So let's just actually see what the what the code is. Seventy three. Oh my goodness. R five. Oh wow. Really? Huh. So let's go 72, 73. That was close. <laughs> I'll just go 72. All right, 73. All right, engage the wheel. Three. Wheel two. Oh, did I not check five? Huh. That's weird. Hold on. 73. Left 73, right? Right 5. So, 1. Two. Huh, that is really strange. Okay, yep, that's enough. <laughs> enough spinning. 73. Yeah, see? Wheel 3 is engaged. Wheel 2 is engaged. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that. That's something that's that's weird. I always hate those numbers when it gets to like uh, the numbers in between zero and ten because I don't know how to deal with that. I'll have to look that up. That is, yeah, that is really tough right there. So you engage wheel three, as you can see, and then engage wheel two, right? But to check it, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's why it wasn't giving me anything because it moves when you check it. Okay. I just, I, I think I'll just have to, um, I'll just have to keep that in mind next time. So if, uh, let's say, let's not check the numbers between zero to 10, unless everything doesn't work out, then it's zero to 10 and then not check it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that is a, that's a tough one. I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with that. So anyways, okay. So let's just actually open this thing because I'm wasting too much time. 72. Or 73, sorry, 73, whatever. I was close. I was close, okay? <laughs> 73, 73. And then 5. Five, okay. And then left 71, so just one, one click. Engage the third wheel. And 71. And then basically, yeah, that's how you open it. Oh, well, that was a bit of bad luck there. I don't know how to deal with the numbers between 0 and 10. So <laughs> that's uh, that's something uh, I got to get used to. So, But that's uh, Sophie's Safe Cracking Simulator. Really, really cool. Uh, even though the only thing that it deals with is safe cracking, there's no, like, there's no reason why you're doing it, you know, I'm, I guess maybe to go, get to these gold bars, but, um, yeah, so it's not part of any major game. It's just a simulator for cracking safes. And, uh, you know what I wish, uh, the developer for this, um, I actually want to check 
Uh, who is the developer? So Sophie Holden. Yeah, they they make really uh, really really nice, I guess, toys. Uh, if you wanna uh, wanna get uh, kind of like a simplified uh, statement like that, uh, they uh, they the other releases that they have in uh, Steam are Sophie's Cubes, which I have. It's a Rubik's Cube simulator kind of thing, and there's one Sophie's Dice. Uh, I don't really need to use dice that much, so. But yeah, if if they keep making games like this, or not games, but uh, simulators. And you know, interesting little uh, little programs like this. Then uh, yeah, I'll definitely buy it. Now, what I wish uh, somebody would come out with, maybe this developer or maybe somebody else, would be a lock picking simulator. There are a couple of freeware ones online that are not finished and like work in progresses. But um, if someone could make a lock picking simulator game that that actually you know works like a real life instead of like oblivion or fallout or you know thief or any of these other games that have lock picking in them that don't really represent the actual thing if somebody could come out with a lock picking simulator game that's like this that looks you know pretty good i guess i can say this is pretty good and has the realistic mechanics then i would buy it day one but uh for this game yeah it's pretty cool if you if you like simulators if you like cracking safes, feeling like uh, one of those guys from, um, let's see, what's, um, oh, I can't remember the, oh no, I can't remember the the uh, Michael Mann movie. Uh, it's, it's not coming to me. It's not Heat, because Heat is more like bank robberies. Um, oh my goodness. It was a Michael Mann movie about a um I think it was no maybe it was a michael mann movie it was it was about safe crackers but uh if you want to if you want to feel like a master safe cracker thief then then practice your uh skills on the safe cracking simulator all right well that was a uh, kind of uh a weird video but uh that's about it for me today and uh, I will see you guys next time. I don't know what I'm going to play because, and again, like I said, I'm pretty busy, but you know, you never know. Maybe uh, I might play some other stuff, maybe some H3 VR, who knows, but I'll see you guys next time. But why? Oops. That's not good. <laughs> I accidentally paused my video. Sorry. I'll see you guys next time.